let's try to understand IPv6 address compression. So first of all, each IPv6 address has a, a length, and they're all 128-bit addresses. If I go and type IP adder, I can see that my IPv6 address right here is colon colon one, which seems like a single character, with the colons, of course. And then this one right here is much longer, but they're both supposed to be 128 bits. If I type in dig minus T A A A to look up the IPv6 address of google.com, I can see this longer address right here. So each of these addresses is 128 bits, and they are made up of hexadecimal characters. Each hexadecimal character represents four bits of value, and they're grouped into sets of four. All right, so these groups of four are 16 bits. So four times four is 16, so you have 16 bits in each of these hextets. And there are a total of eight hextets. However, if you look at this address, you see one, two, three, four, five. Only five appear to be listed. So how is it there are eight of these hextets, but I only see five of them? And then one of them doesn't even have four characters in it. Well, let's look at how this all works. So I'll jump over into a document right here. And I've listed these addresses. So these are nice addresses, and I figure out, well, how can I decompress these? By decompressing them, you can get an idea of how they are actually compressed. You can see there is a colon colon right here, another colon colon right here, and then there's a colon colon right here. So each one has a colon colon set. Let's go look at the rules of compression. So jump over to here and the rules of compression say that a leading or leading zeros can be omitted and one contiguous group of zeros can be replaced with a double colon all right so let's go and start with rule number two in reversing it and then we'll go to rule number one and so we'll jump back to our document right here all right so rule number two was saying one contiguous group of zeros can be pressed can be replaced with a double colon. All right, so you can see there is exactly one double colon set in each of these. If I want to, I can replace this double colon with groups of zeros. Now, you can see right here, there is only one number. So this is a single group right here, a single hextet. So that means there are seven more that are not represented. And so I can do a zero colon, well actually let's put it the next line down. Zero colon 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 one. So now we have eight different groupings. If I want to, I can now decompress it more by taking each of these and replacing the leading zeros that have been omitted. So I do zero 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 let's see what I have now one two three four five six seven the last one is zero 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 one this would be the complete decompressed format of this local loopback address. Let's go ahead and go to the next one. You can see that there are one, two, three, four, five addresses here. Let's go ahead and, or five hex sets right there. Paste this one right here, and we'll go lead, take these, these uh, double colon and replace it with the zeros that are missing. So if there's five, it means we're missing three, zero, zero and zero all right i can take this now and copy it and paste it and replace all the missing leading zeros so zero 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 
zero, 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 and a single zero. And we now have our fully decompressed address right there. I go ahead and take the Google address, copy that one, and paste it. And here we have one, two, three, four, five. You say three more, go right here. Zero, zero, zero. And I take this and I add the leading zeros back. And so you jump in right here, put a leading zero right here. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And now we have our fully uncompressed IPv6 addresses. So I hope this helps you understand how the address compression works. If you wanted to compress them yourselves, you can do this. Note that if there are multiple groupings of zeros, you can only compress one of them. And usually you want to pick the one that's the biggest and compress it. Um, the rest of them you just leave alone. Because otherwise you can't figure out where to decompress. But there you go.